Pebbles and today I'm going to do a tutorial on a spring makeup look. Um, it's going to be a basically mostly pinky colors and I just thought that, you know, spring is here now and I love the nice pink colors and the corals. just puts you in that spring mood. So right now I have no makeup on and I am going to um, walk you through what my version of a spring look would look like. Alright, so if you're interested in this tutorial, stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, my first thing I'm going to do is my foundation and I'm using Revlon Photo Ready in 008 Golden Beige. So I put it on the back of my hand and I use my hand as my palette and then I just use my Dellum foundation brush. This is a great foundation. I find it full coverage and I have done a review on this before. Um, it was one of my favorites, I think, for February. And I was saying that this definitely would be a dupe drugstore version of Makeup Forever's HD. And I'm going to put my concealer on. I like to put my concealer on at this stage. I know some people like to put it on... Um, after they do their eye makeup, but I prefer to put it on when I put my foundation. And I'm going to use the MAC Pro Long Concealer, and my color is NW25. And again, I use the back of my hand, and you just need a little bit of, of product. I use this flat foundation brush to apply my concealer. And because I'm really pale right now, you can totally see my bags my sunken eyes. When I get color, you don't really notice it as much. And I have a friend here on my chin, which starting to leave, was not invited, came uninvited to my face. I put, foundation, I put concealer on my nose too to conceal the redness. And then I use my fingers just to smooth everything out. To bronze my face lightly, and I'm using the Milani Bronzer in Fake uh, Tan, and it's 02. This is a really great bronzer. And I apply it in the areas where typically you would get sun, just to warm up my face. And I actually use my bronzer as, I do use my bronzer as my contour as well. So that just gives me a little bit, deepens my skin color, as you can see. A little bit of blush. And I am going to use my cream blush today because I want more of a dewy look. So I am going to use my NARS Orgasm in Cream. And basically, I'm just going to put this on my cheeks. And then with my ring finger, I'm just going to blend it out. And now I'm going to highlight, use MAC Mineralized um, Soft and Gentle, a MAC, I think this is MAC 169 brush. So I'm just putting that up at the top around my brow bone just to add a little bit of sheen to my face. I'm just to contour the sides of my nose and I'm going to use the Bahama Mama Bronzer from The Balm. And this is just a Quo all over shadow brush, but I'm using it as my brush to high, um, you know, contour my nose. I just want it to look a little bit longer and thinner instead of pudgy. And then, there we go. Does that look better? Do the the brows. Now, I bought a new brow kit. It's called Brow Zings by Benefit, and I got it in medium. And this comes with a mirror, and then it's got the medium powder and, and like a wax, and then it has a little two applicators and then a tweezer. So, I'm going to use that today. First, you have to use the cream color. So, I'm going to put the gel on my brows. 
And I think that you put this first so that the powder sticks and stays. With the other brush, I'm going to use the powder and then that fills your brows in wherever they're sparse. I don't like to make my brows too dark because then I think they look harsh. That's why I usually use pencils to do my eyebrows. But, I don't know, I was in the... I thought I'd try this out. It wasn't cheap. It was like $36 for this stuff at uh, Shoppers Drug Mart. I thought that was kind of expensive, but... I was in one of my moods to shop. What do you think? Look good? Eyes. And I'm going to use pink shadows today. And I'm going to use my Urban Decay in the original um, as my primer for my eyelids. This, and I've put it underneath too because if you're putting powder or eyeliner underneath your eyes, you want to make sure that it stays on all day. There you go. I'm going to be using the palette, the Nude Tude from The Bomb. And we are going to use the pink colors. And I'm going to use the silly and sexy color as well. So using a shader brush. And I'm going to go in with the stubborn color, which is this color right here. And we're going to put that on the lid all over. And I'm going to go in with Sultry, which is this color here. And I'm going to put it in my crease with a domed crease brush, like a little one like this. And I'm going to put it into Sultry, which is like a soft, soft brown color. Put that in. Like that. Let's blend that out. Keep blending, blend, blend, blend. And I want to make this a little bit deeper, so I'm going to go in with the sexy, which is this dark burgundy color. I'm just putting it in like a V shape at the outer edge of my eye. Then I'm going to go into Silly, which is a sparkly brown color, and I'm going to go back into the same crease. I'm going to make that really nice and deep. It's just got a little bit of shimmer in it. A blending brush, and I'm going to blend all that. There's no harsh lines. I'm going to go in with this standoffish, which is a shimmery pink, and I'm going to put that in the corner of my eye. And onto the lid. Okay, so that opens up my eye. Edge brush. I'm going to go into the sexy color. And I'm going to go and line my bottom of my eye. Like that. Okay, so you can see that's really pretty. I'll use my Mika um, gel liner that I got in my Ipsy bag, and I'm going to use the slanted eyeliner brush from Quo. Do 
your lash plumper. My Dior Blackout. My signature mascara. Okay. So now we're going to do the lips. This is by the Body Shop and it is in the color Clove Berry. And line the lips. Okay. And then we're going to use the Stila, and this is in Fior. I hope you uh, liked this tutorial and um, I will have all the products that I used indicated in my Dropbox below. If you liked this video, you like the look, thumbs it up and um, stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Would love to have you um, subscribed. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Yeah, subscribe. 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 Anyways, have yourself a beautiful day and thanks for watching. Bye.